This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. <laughs> the B stands for bimbo. You know, that, that could be true. Mashing students of a different school different school years into a single classroom and giving them an identical course of instruction is typically referred to as a combined class system. It's most frequently used in rural elementary schools, where low population and limited resources sometimes make it an unavoidable cost-saving measure. I guess Mahama might have might be called an unusual variation of, on that system. Amine is a year ahead of me, Sachi and Makina a year below, but we're all currently being taught how to solve quadratic functions by factorization. Classic. Of course, even in rural areas, they don't tend to squash three years into one. You'd usually have to go to South Korea to see anything like this. Yeah, see? The principal's acting like a teacher here, but apparently there are other teachers as well. Oh man, this is bringing me back. Oh, this is bringing me back to the days of algebra. Oh, I, I miss those days, actually. I like algebra. It's fun. Taking Insachi's effortless response out of the corner of her eye, Sakaki mumbles words of admiration. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, so what did you realize? As the two as of two days ago, I probably would have reacted with skepticism at this point, but after what I've learned about Sachi lately, this seems all too plausible. <laughs> robot. <laughs> A flippin' robot. <laughs> she gets extra credit. It's gonna be extra credit problems. <laughs> Thanks for announcing her grades to the whole class there, Principal. <laughs> Principal. <laughs><笑><笑> What? That Sachi's grades aren't always perfect? Pobody's nerfect. <laughs> Hmm. From a common sense perspective, it seems completely obvious. No matter how much of a genius you are or how much time you've spent practicing, it's difficult for any human being to maintain absolute perfection. <laughs> Not for a von karma. <laughs> that said, in Sachi's case, I have this odd feeling that she's only missing questions because nobody's asked her to get perfect scores constantly yet. Am I just overestimating her? Please, please don't ask that, though. Sachi,なら <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michiru has the best faces by far. Well, I can more or less identify with the sentiment. The girl's a curious specimen, to be sure. 
Why are we being so weird? <laughs> Did somebody say somebody's smarter? <laughs> wow, how how flattering. What's that supposed to mean? For the record, a sourpuss face has absolutely no relevance to academic results. Sorry, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> okay, here's my question. Luigi decorates which tree trunk for the heck of it? <laughs> well, I guess I don't mind giving her a test, but... Shouldn't you be asking for her consent before appointing anybody? Of course she is. Well, I did pretty much expect an answer along those lines, but still. Alright, I guess. Since a consensus seems to have emerged, I suppose I'll go along with it. No need to struggle against the current. <laughs> the, teacher, the teacher's just like, if you guys are done having your personal conversation, can we get back to the algebra, please? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be saying this to your face, Sachi, but you're, you're seriously a soft touch. There is such a thing as being too cooperative. <laughs> there is such a, there is such a thing as too much birthday. <laughs> That's ridiculous, Mama Bear. How can you have too much birthday? <laughs> Assigned a strange new responsibility by the whims of my capricious classmates, I am holding an impromptu rooftop meeting with Sachi to discuss the specifics. Yes, you just committed yourself to an academic stress test with no real point beyond satisfying her classmates' curiosity, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> Although Sachi obediently accepts my words on a superficial level, she doesn't really seem to recognize this situation as inconvenient. Well, if this doesn't bother you, I won't say you were wrong to accept. Where did you pick up that phrase? Okay. Ah, I see. I vaguely suspected as much for a while now, but it seems you're remembering good standing with the masochist community, Saji. No. No! Okay, this conversation's getting very weird. When did I get promoted to Super Sadist, exactly? When Sachi gets like this, it really does feel like you're talking to an enigmatic maid with a deadpan sense of humor. But now that I think about it, that impression is probably misleading. The girl's defining characteristics are her earnest personality and impressive range of skills. She accepts nearly every request that comes her way. She's an excellent student, and from what I've seen, she's respectively athletic as well. I don't know, Marty, but this is far from the first time that this game has brought it up. In a way, she's less a maid and more of the ideal personification of an honor student, but she takes it to such an extreme that it's hard to keep yourself from thinking she might be too good to be true. I'm not, Saji. I'm reading- sorry, I'm reading the text box, which happens to be near your chest. Sorry, can I smack you after all? <sighs> Why is, like, 50% of the humor in this game just regarding, like, sex stuff? Okay, I think a firm press of the reset button is called for at this point. Yes, good! Let's get back on topic, Sachi! There's a couple of things I want to ask about before pointing, pan, pointing out this little experiment. Do you take any specific measures to prepare for teachers asking you to solve a problem in class? 
教科書の問題をそのまま出される場合がほとんどですから一通り予習をしておけば大体のことは答えられます。Well, that's true. Hmm. Certainly true, but studying until you can solve every single problem in the upcoming material usually requires an impractical amount of time and effort. Although she's clearly devoted as well, Sachi must naturally be something of a quick learner. Alright then, what would you do in a situation where you absolutely need someone else's cooperation to fulfill a request? Right. With a mission like that, don't you run into a dead end if they just refuse to listen? I see. Don't really tend to think of Sachi as a flexible thinker, but it seems she does consider her challenges on a case by case basis. Oh, is that today? Yeah, that was the plan, unless there's a problem on your end. Right. In any case, today I'm going to be directly observing Sachi's private life. That may well provide me with some insight into what makes that distinctly unusual human being ticked. Well, I also think we're going to run into some problems there. Yes, please phrase it like that. That definitely won't backfire. <laughs> Squeeze. All of a sudden, three of my classmates spring to their feet at one. At once. What? Was there a tremor? Hmm, can't say I noticed. They're all so mad! Uh, I, no, 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 she was just gonna show me the third Indiana Jones movie. I haven't seen it yet. I see. The precise nature of your collective delusion is now clear to me. But to be perfectly clear, that's not what Sachi meant just now. So many poorly worded phrases, Sachi. <laughs> oh, Yumiko looks like she's about to stab us right now. Not chess, connect four, Marty. The chorus draws a few steps away from me and begins to discuss something in venomous whispers, shooting me scornful glances out of the corner of their eyes. Hey, none of you asked me out, so actually, I'm pretty sure Amine absolutely did, but I, I rejected her. <laughs> Sorry, Sachi, but please keep your mouth shut until I'm done explaining. Connect for us too many innuendos. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, we're playing chess. Wizard's chess. Listen up, alright? I'm just dropping by Sachi's room for a visit. That's the full extent of the plans she's talking about. Apparently, Sachi doesn't believe in giving herself free time. I was kind of dubious, so she volunteered to demonstrate directly what she means. Once I provide a brief explanation of the circumstances, my free interrogators cool down surprisingly easily. Amine's tone suggests she's all but lost interest. Not that I'm complaining, but you're strangely understanding. She has? So, what's going on behind that curtain? Hmm. In other words, their own version of this field trip must have left a decidedly ambiguous impression. You're not my mom. Yeah, I'll make a con conscious effort not to disrupt Sachi's private life any more than necessary. Innuendo games are Connect 4, Twister, 
and Cards Against Humanity, and don't <laughs> don't forget about Guess Who or the Game of Life <laughs> or Trouble. Sakaki heaves a small sigh. Makina, who's shown absolutely no interest in the conversation until this point, promptly sidles over and yanks on her sleeve. <laughs> Alright then, would meeting in at the lobby in an hour or so work for you? <laughs> Okay, do people actually use pickup lines ever, or is this just something people talk about using? Because I feel I feel like people don't actually, like, get girls just by doing random pickup lines. Like, you actually have get to know them a bit first. Alright, we're... F uh, Michiru, you doing okay? Why are you growling at us right now? Hey there, Michiru. Um, you're getting a little close there. Considering how little you supposedly care, I find it slightly odd that you've been tailing me since I left the classroom. Okay. And there she goes. Probably just wanted to say that last bit from the very beginning. The Sundere's lot is not a happy one. I, s I swear, I swear Michiru knows that I was seriously considering doing her route first, and now she's getting annoyed that I didn't. <laughs> Why is everybody trying to follow us? <laughs> because a lot of people are tailing her. Is that a Who Framed Roger Rabbit reference, Marty? <laughs> They're playing patty cake. <laughs> How dirty. Alright, you ready? But it's actually just patty cake. Oh, that's a lovely little room. Very prim and proper, very clean and tidy. I like it. You've never seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit? It's not bad. As as far as like movies that combine live action and cartoon characters, it's probably best or second best. I think it's a little overrated though, but it's it's a fun movie. Yeah. The first thing that catches my eye is a large locker, similar to the one Sachi uses as a storehouse in the classroom. It's also the only thing that catches my eye. There's not much else in the way of distinctive personal touches in here. Well, yeah, okay, obviously Mary Poppins is the best out of those. Minimalist, if you put it nicely, plain if you don't. But personally, I'm just grateful it isn't some frilly abomination full of stuffed animals and overpowering scented candles. Speaking of Michiru's room... <laughs> <laughs> you might think I'd actually asked. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm the only man at the school. That a fact. Come to think of it, I haven't even poked my head into Sachi's room before. There's gotta be a better way to phrase that. Try not to put it like that when other people can hear you. Michiru and company would misunderstand again. Understandably, in this case. So, once you're back in your room, what's the first order of business normally? Right, let me rephrase that. The first order of business right after you change out of your uniform. At what? Also, 
Couldn't you have changed before I came over? And why did you have to do that today in particular? If you don't know the answer, I doubt anyone else will. After changing into her casual clothes, if the term can even apply to a maid uniform in the back, uh, Sachi begins to unpack a range of study materials from her school bag. Alright, don't worry about me. Go ahead like you always do. With that concise answer, Sachi promptly heads over to her desk. After carefully spreading out her notes in a few textbooks, Sachi begins solving problems at a steady pace. In no time at all, she is absorbed in the task at hand. Even watching from behind, her concentration is almost startling. First of all, she goes over the problems we reviewed today a second time. When she's done, she moves methodically through everything we might possibly cover in the next class. Even as she jumps to new material and different subjects, her pen never stops its regular mechanical motion across the notebook paper. If nothing else, it's quite a display of academic prowess. You study this much every day? Plus, it's Japan. That's your reason? No, strange would be an overstatement. Although, personally speaking, it seems way too weak of motivation to inspire this kind of effort. Getting up from her seat without even pausing to stretch, Sachi immediately begins to pack away her books and study aids. Next up would be preparing dinner, then. Don't give me the utterly astounded face. You told me your schedule before, remember? Been a while since I heard that catchphrase. Anyway, while you were eating dinner, I guess I should... That really alright with you? Dinner with a cute girl? No, I'll say yes to that. No, I don't have any reason to refuse. I'll take you up on that. I watch idly as Sachi trots off toward the kitchen to prepare the meal. Just now, her smile seemed unusually happy. Was it just my imagination? <laughs> she has such a cute singing voice, although this song is a little weird. About ten minutes after Sachi begins her preparations, I hear the rhythmical sound of a kitchen knife striking a cutting board. Within a few moments, she accompanies this steady percussion with a bizarre psalm, almost certainly another of Machina's compositions. Up to this point, I can't deny she's given herself exactly nothing in the way of legitimate free time. Frankly, her constant motion and eager devotion to her tasks aren't particularly different from what I normally see out, uh, out of her in school. Hmm? From the smell of things, it's curry, huh? How do you know that? Yeah. Curry was downright treasured at my old school. It's filling, nutritious, and tends to taste decent no matter who makes it. And apart from the pra practical appeal, it does fall into the category of food that I personally prefer. But have I ever declared myself a curry fanatic in front of Sachi? I'm not the sort of enthusiastic gourmand who makes a habit of advertising his tastes. I'm kind of guilty of that. No, it's nothing. Well, there's no need to think too hard about something that trivial. What? That's fine. I'm not what you call a picky eater. Anyway, as a rule, I eat whatever's on my plate. <laughs> <laughs> the true gentleman always makes sure he eats everything that is put in front of him. <laughs> Eating the table. <laughs> Maybe, but she complains it's less satisfying when there's no challenge. Sachi keeps up a natural flow of conversation without ever losing focus on the work at hand. Considering how busy she keeps herself, I don't really, I really don't have. I don't really have many opportunities to make small talk with Saji, so this sort of idle conversation feels a bit novel. 
Come to think of it, when did you start cooking for yourself, Sachi? Out of necessity, in other words. Aww. Auntie, huh? First I've heard of her. But growing Sachi about her family would probably fall on the tactless side of things. Not that long, then. Seems you're quick on the uptake. Sure, whatever. What did that have to do with anything? In the time it takes for our conversation to run off the tracks into total incoherence, the Sachi style curry has reached completion. Hmm. The curry itself is impressively attractive, and I've got no complaints about the smell either. The salad she's added as a sort of garnish appears fresh and appetizing as well. So, as a whole, there's no reason to hesitate. Alright then, I'm going to get right to it. After briefly bringing my hands together for politeness's sake, I scoop up a spoonful of curry and bring it to my mouth. Mmm. I can summarize my impressions fairly concisely. It's homemade curry. Rather than the spicy variety you might be served at a restaurant, it's mild, soothing comfort food that anyone could eat. <laughs> She's like, what do you think, Yuji? Better tell me. But for some reason, Sachi's intently watching me eat instead of starting in on her own share. Don't worry, it doesn't seem to be poisoned. Go ahead and eat, Sachi. Once I point this out to her, Sachi starts to move her spoon as well. Without much in the way of conversation, we quietly carry on spoonful after spoonful of curry into our mouths. Well, that's the sign of a good meal. If there's if there's little conversation, it means everyone's very much enjoying the meal. Among other things, the acidity of the yogurt she added as flavoring tempers the aftertaste nicely, so there's no real need to pause. I'm, do you normally put yogurt in curry? I thought curry was supposed to be like generally a very spicy dish. So it seems. Before I know it, the reasonably sized helping she'd served me has vanished altogether. Ooh! As Sachi leans forward to take my plate, I reflexively reach out and drop a hand on top of her head. Nice work, Sachi. It's not often that I actually want a second helping. As I lightly ruffle her hair, a visible jolt of surprise runs through Sachi's body. Ah, sorry. Sort of realized I hadn't given you my thoughts or anything. It's just a spur of the moment thing. <laughs> I think Sachi really enjoys the head pats. In that case, mind if I keep this up a little longer? You did ask for more of my praise, after all. What? You think I've gone senile or something? Not like it's been long enough for me to forget. Sachi finally smiles. After a few more gentle strokes, I lower my head, her, my hand from her head. I lower my head from her head. Well, sure. Although I know it's not much of a reward considering the effort you put into the meal. Deflecting my words in a light tone of voice, Sachi heads back off toward the kitchen to refill my plate. Guess you could say that's typical of Sachi, but there's such a thing as being too modest. Once the tableware has all been cleared away, Sachi announces the next stage of her plans, carefully balancing a rubber duck on top of her head. Quack! <laughs> Those are yesterday's duckies. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. No. Thanks for the disturbingly casual invitation, but I didn't bring a towel or a change of clothes. That's the reason you're objecting! Okay. Okay, that's weird, Sachi. That's very weird. Come to think of it, you mentioned something about that the day I moved in. Is it just me, or is there a much bigger obstacle still remaining here? Such as... Oh, I don't know, common sense? Sorry, but I think I'll pass. Normally, I wouldn't have a reason to refuse, but in this case, I feel like you need to carefully rethink when and why you to make an offer like that. Well, at least she listens to reason, although I'm far from confident she actually understands the underlying problem here. Oh, she absolutely does not.
You don't mind leaving me in your room alone? I already know where you keep your underwear. Why are you bringing that up? Not exactly. You told me yourself a few weeks ago, remember? No, I don't. Fascinating question, but I'm really not sure why you're asking me. Hold it. Just as Sachi moves to open her door, I reach out and intercept her hand. No! That's not it! There's someone on the other side of the door. That said, the only real question is which of the four stooges couldn't contain their curiosity. It's probably Michiru and Makina. Alright, listen up. Count to three, then throw it open with me. Three, two, one. It's Yumiko? As expected, our sudden action prompts a distinctly feminine shriek. Okay, she would have been the last one I would have suspected. Glancing down, I find a dumbfounded Sakaki sprawled out on her backside a few, few, a few feet away. And what are you doing out here? Your room's on the second floor, isn't it? <laughs> Again, Yumiko would have been the last person I would have suspected of doing something like this. Why is it exactly that my classmates are such uniformly terrible liars? That's nice. By the way, Sachi's just heading off to the Grand Bath, just in case you were curious. Please, I'm staying here, obviously. Sachi's got a flat at screen TV and I'm watching Blue's Clues. Steve needs my help. Apparently somewhat relieved by this news, Sakaki lightly brushes her disheveled banes back into place. You were the one who was telling me I should come alone to the bath with you. So, so. Convinced now? Surprising as it may seem to you, I'm a gentleman. <laughs> That's why you were spying on the door. Seems Sakaki has decided to trust me for the time being, as she abruptly turns away and heads back up the stairs. The girl's got it tough in her own right. Can't be easy going through life with that contrary a personality. Might have a point there, sadly. Cool, as it turns out, Blue wanted pizza for her snack. 30 minutes on the dot after the incident, outside her door, Sachi pokes her slightly flushed face back into the room. Get out of there without fainting today, I see. I see. Apparently, that brief conversation last night was in fact enough to reset Sachi's bathing behavior to something slightly more sane. Sachi. Girl. You really need some help. Does that dresser look like it's been disturbed since you left the room? I really don't think that warrants such a disappointed tone of voice. <laughs> Fighting off a wave of exasperation, I turn my attention from the untouched dresser back to Sachi to find her staring at me with a distinctly nonplussed expression. Mm. Why are you getting mad at me for not going for your underwear drawer? Something on your mind? So, at the very least, you don't resemble a pale old man wheezing after a marathon. No. That you are. No, can't say it is. Oh my gosh, these, these people. Y'all need Jesus. Relax, I'm not saying you're unattractive. Yeah, like I said of the bath, your timing is your problem is timing. Under the right circumstances, the sort of event you're imagining is perfectly possible. This isn't one of those times, that's all. 
Not to worry, if that time comes, you're not going to be able to miss it, even if you want to. Is that a fret? Although I'm certainly not going to guarantee it'll ever come to that. So, seems you finally reached some genuine free time. What are you planning to do next? What? <laughs> Sleep. Just to be perfectly clear, I wasn't wondering about the meaning of your words. <sighs> I mean, it's not even 9 p.m. yet, right? Are you seriously planning to sleep already? No, I wouldn't say it's bad, but... Admittedly, I'm hardly an expert on the lifestyle of students these days, but I'm confident there aren't many of them who make a habit of going to bed this early. Especially in the case of young women. From what I've seen, you could add another 12 hours to every night and they still wouldn't have enough time. Do you not watch television or play games? No time at all for recreation? Okay, well, we're gonna play chess. Seriously? Don't do that! Frankly, it's still a little hard to believe that she doesn't relax at all. But from what I see of the room, she certainly doesn't seem to have much in the way of entertainment oriented belongings. And Sachi's personality being what it is. Guess it really was literally true. In the instant Sachi delivers that oddly phrased sentence with a smile on her face, I finally realize the nature of the unease I've been feeling about her behavior. It's pretty simple, really. She resembles me. Organizing her life around diligently following orders, she never allows herself to doubt them, let alone defy those who make use of her. And almost as an extension of that, her private activities are a little more than the bare minimum routines of daily existence. The same as me, in other words. Grilling her about recreation is a little more than uh, is more than a little hypocritical on my part. Looking at Sachi, I've been seeing myself, and the discomfort I felt was a reflection of my uncertainty about my own way of life. Huh? Taken off guard by her question, I respond in an unusually feeble tone of voice. Well, this is yet another surprise. Didn't think I was so transparent that a schoolgirl could see through me. Alright, I understand that much. But what made you think I was feeling relieved? Smiling? I don't remember grinning to myself during that little internal monologue. If anything, the look on my face should have been something like surprise. But apparently, something about my face suggested a smile to her. I see. I was right about one thing. You really are an interesting one, Sachi. I'll let you decide how to interpret it. But at the very least, it's better than boring, right? Way to go, Yuji. What a player. <laughs> Sachi said relieving my anxiety would make her happy. I'm not sure I understand the exact meaning of those words, but looking back on it, this visit did inspire a mysterious sense of tranquility. Whatever the details, I don't think that can be a bad thing. Well, guess I've confirmed the mechanics of your free time policy, but before we wrap things up, let's make arrangements to clear up the other matter as well. Yeah, we were going to see how difficult a question it takes to stump you, remember? Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, so we might as well take care of that fairly soon. What's your schedule like? Wow, we're already at the end of the year? Does that mean you won't be heading home for the break? Hmm... Guess a slightly less intimate connection with home. 
might not be too surprising when you're living with a less immediate relative. Okay, so how about starting right off the bat the day after tomorrow? That work for you? Alright, we'll assemble in the classroom at 1 p.m. two days from now. Right. Well, I guess you could put it that way. Yeah, sure. That's settled. I won't keep you from your sleep any longer. Have a good rest. No, I'm not sleeping in this room. Thanks anyway, but that's not going to be necessary. Very kind of you to offer, though. I still haven't overcome the constant unease I feel toward myself, or my doubts about my lax new life in this place. But I have learned something new in the last few days. There's someone else like me here. For some reason, I feel like this is objectively pointless little quiz game I've been entrusted with is going to yield interesting results. Not that I have any concrete reason to believe that, but it's, but it's not an unpleasant feeling. By the time I reach my room, I'm almost looking forward to it. Alright, weirdos. さすがに乙女リってことはなかったみたいね。ん？それは絶対ないって。天音は分かってたよな。分かってたけど、一応心配したくなるの。その意味がさっぱり分かんねえけど、お前も難儀な性格だな。いいじゃない。それが女の子